and what's her face helped you kill uh, her. She helped you kill the last of the Nightmare Dragons. She pulled herself out of the Nightmare, but she helped you kill and helped you kill the last one. And then she said, talks about she can't live among her brethren anymore, and she's going to have to live, um, you know, among mortals now. So, uh, but then she turns up again in Legion as a Nightmare Dragon. It's very strange. It, it, it's really strange. I wonder if there's any explanation for it. Maybe she just got corrupted again. And uh, maybe, like, the like we were told in Legion, it, you know, the uh, corruption is the, um, like, if you get taken by the Nightmare, it's a permanent thing. So, maybe that is just a case of that. I'm not sure. Someone wearing like old classic gear? Oh, they have the Argent Tabard. I had that at one stage and got rid of it. I'm uh, thinking, ah, oh, I can go get it again. I get it full inventory. I they they changed the instance, so I can't get it again. Ooh, these are better. Acid inscribed pauldrons reduces nature damage taken by one percent. That's hysterical. Uh, I will want to get another children enchantment though. Wait, did I even get the other things, the upgrade points? I don't think I did. Oh, that's annoying. I'm also gonna. W I also kind of want to get involved in this fight again, just to see her from the beginning. Also, we got uh, some wines from her here. The strands of life have been severed. The dreamers must be avenged. Come forth, ye dreamers, and claim your vengeance. Which does sound cool. I will want to sell any Legion food I have before Battle for Azeroth comes out, because Battle for, in the Battle for Azeroth, that food will be worthless. No, very few, if any, will, any will want it. It still can sell, but it's a lot less likely. Okay, let's see... Is there a group I can join? Because I feel I saw enough of Kazig, but I feel like I haven't seen enough... Um, ...of this lady. It seems like she might be the only Nightmare Dragon who pops up. Also, I do recognize if, like, I won't be able to get any extra loot from killing her another time or anything like that. Wait. Yeah. Join the group for one that was already done. If needs be, I'll just move on. But it's it's just a case of if I can, can get to see the full fight, uh, more of a fight, then I want to. I think it was just part of this group, but maybe it wasn't. No, I was actually part of this group. Yeah. Okay, well, let's just move on. Really, I could just wait, and when she respawns, we could fight her again. With people here, we'll probably get to do it. Which one's this again? Uh, Blazing Dragon. I'm sorry, Bla Blazing Drake. Mounts. Blazing. Lazy. Not collected. Blazing Drake. Dra Dragon Soul. Blazing Drakes exhibit a, countless pa a boundless passion for life and are considered by many to be, the most, uh, uh, to be among the most loyal mounts on Azeroth. Considering they're dragons, and we've known that dragons are completely sentient, you know, things. Phrasing like that sounds very, very weird.
it's like sometimes they kind of forget that you know dragons are their you know their own person, and then other times they remember. Unless there is cases of you know dragons, some being just beasts, while others are you know people. If it's a bit like that, then fair enough. But if you know. If it's not, then it just ends up sounding really weird. And wild gore tusk. Wild was terrible. You keep getting, um, you know, you'd keep get. They would keep. You didn't get pet amounts and stuff that fit for each faction. You'd keep getting stuff like gore tusks and everything, no matter what faction you're helping out. It was really weird. That's kind of cool, but it's uh, game st game store stuff. I haven't really seen much to do with the game store. There was that pet a while back, the cat, but that was it. So here's the old, uh, seemingly this is the old graphic for, you know, green dragons. So it's really cool to see. really cool to see, especially since I don't think I've ever gotten to see much of green dragons. So it's 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 really cool to see bits of them. See, you know, just see it once in a while. Like, I never got to fight any dragons at night. Uh, I think one of them might have spawned when I was, like, really low level and walking at the portal, but I never actually got to fight them. Ow. Uh, Stam. I keep getting stunned. Divine shield. Gives Naru. Move. Move, 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 move. 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 Uh. Um. Uh, yeah, one of them may have turned up, but I was too, uh, but I was too old level to have engaged, so um, I never really got to fight any of them. Any of these old world bosses, I never got to do anything with. Uh, Your ghost was removed by the time I would have been, you know. Actually, no, he wa he was still in the game by the time I was high enough level. I just hadn't the interest because I was thinking, ah, I can do it some other time. I think I did try and look for him a few times, but he just wasn't there, so. I moved on, did other stuff. Basically, I think a lot of the re thing was, was I never expected all this old stuff to be removed. I figured it would always be around. If I knew that it was going to be removed, I would have made more of an effort to seeing it. But, uh, anyway. Um, ooh, let's move. Um, but yeah, it, it, I, I really like this anniversary event. It's, it, it's a... You know, it's not some huge, big thing, but it's nice to see these old bosses and whatnot. Ah, oh, nice. The event, the attack still went on, but it didn't stun you. That's nice. But it's um, it's nice to see them. It's nice to see them and like how they used to work and whatnot. So give you a taste of what you missed out on. Like I said before, I'm I'm interested in doing cl some classic server videos, and I'll probably will do some when the, it comes out. But I do see myself not sticking around. I like Pal and I. I like playing as a Paladin, um, and I'm no healer. And in classic, if you play Paladin, I wanted to raid. You have to heal. Uh, same with Druid and Shaman. All hybrid classes like them. Dru well, Druids, Shamans, and Paladins hat to heal if they wanted to raid. I did hear, hear one story of a druid tank, but it was just a sign of either how well on farm they had the instance, or how great at the game they were. It was it was like the cat driving the car, you know, it was it was out of the norm, it was very different, and I, you know, yeah, I, I just, there's a lot of changes that were brought in with Burn Crusade and Wrath that I'm actually quite happy with. Uh, especially Burn Crusade introduced Draenei in this form. So it's, um, 
Well, it was a retcon, but anyway. Basically, I could stay there. I could go on a, as a tourist, but don't expect me to be the most hardcore raiders. Or even to be as casual at the game as I am with this one. As in, us using LFR, going into the raids, doing that stuff. I might do that a bit. But don't expect me to be... Um... Like, I wouldn't probably be doing it as much as I'm doing it here, is what I'm saying. I may do a few dungeons, how I might even do run Molten Core once. But I don't see myself um, ever ending up in Nax Ramis or anything like that. Like, uh, I'll be a tourist and a little more. Just, uh, like I said, some. While I do like seeing the old content and whatnot, some of the changes I'm not a fan of. Some of the old stuff, the old way of doing things, I'm not a fan of because I liked. Um, I just don't like how they used to do it. I'm, I'm no healer and I like playing Paladin. If I wanted to do, you know, do a raid or a dungeon, I would have to play healer if I wanted to play Paladin. So. I wouldn't mind, you know, sauntering in, seeing what the, the place is like, but I don't see myself trading it out for, you know, trading, you know, Battle for Az Azeroth out for a classic server. I could probably poke my head in a few times, but that's as far as I'll go. Hmm, there's uh, some runes over here. Might as well take a look. Hopefully that makes sense there. Basically, while I am interested in what um, um, I am interested in seeing the old world, and I do find it really cool. I'm not interested enough in. Well, sorry, let me start again. While I'm interested in seeing the old world, and I do think it will be cool. I'm not, um, I I'm happy with some of the changes in the later on stuff, and I'm not happy with some of the way old things used to be. So when those two things collide, I don't see myself sticking around. So, yeah. I think I made sense there. It's just a constant worry that I've been speaking complete gibberish, and I've made no sense. It's just, that's how I am. I'm always worried I'm not being, making sense. I think I am. I'm just worried that's only to me. So, yeah, basically, I want to play Retribution Paladin and be able to go raid and do stuff. Only in Battle, you know, Legion, Battle for Azeroth, the current content, can I do that. On a classic server, nah. Paladins weren't for DPS or tanking. They may have had the specs, but they couldn't do these, you know, this spec, but they shouldn't do it. Back then, they weren't geared for that. Um, they were only good as healers. Same with Shaman and Druid, from what I hear. I'm more focused. Though, again, this is all what I hear is that. So, yeah. I may, if I do do um, Classic, I may play as a Warrior. Maybe. I might do a Paladin just to show you what it was like, but... Again, this is all maybes, maybes, maybes. It's actually really fucking funny. Here is, remember the, uh, I did this on my, uh, on Durakar. You know, there's a ton of demons here and shit. I actually played through this on, over on Palanai as well, as you can gather. A ton of demons have taken over Centaur lands. And if you just fly just over here and drop down, you're in Mogor. With, you know, a dwarven dig site. How the dwarves got in here, I'll never know. And like they're hanging their banner up right next to a fucking demon in Vit camp. Oh, maybe there's meant to be a bigger gap between the world here, but when this is just what you show, this is what I assume. I'm not used to assuming this. Ah, oh, yeah, they showed you know one stab wound, but in reality, I'm meant to assume pulped meat. You know, I'm I'm used to assu assuming that what they show is what they mean us to know. 
what 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 is actually after happening. If someone got kicked in the groin, they didn't, you know, someone didn't just act, read a full picks at them. Um, you know, that kind of thing. So. I'm just showing you an easter egg here before I make my way up to Azuna. You see here, uh, there's this thing, Stone Town Pass. Wait, it's not the... Stone Town Mountains. Ah! A little edge up here, but here's this really interesting thing. Is it? It's a little um, Easter egg, shall we call it? I don't know what, what to say it is, but uh, basically these are random critters that um, hunt down other critters. And I swear, do they have newer models? I swear they do. I swear you can also find ones with guns. Mice, rabbits, I think it might be the prairie dogs that have the guns. And I think they randomly... I swear the version I saw before was they randomly grew in size. Wait, is that a prairie dog? I thought that was a squirrel. Thank you. Might be. I was assuming it would be easier to see the damn model when they were dead, but now I can't see the corpse. Yeah, I, I still remember a different iteration of this, where they would like grow and um, they might be small, then they'll get bigger, then they would also have like clothing on, like a hat and a gun. They'd run around like you know norm like they normally would, just hopping, but they'll just have a gun in their paws. Am I wrong in that recollection? But yeah, these rabbits are just running around hunting other rabbits. What's this thing over here? Or is that just random rock? Oh, it's just random rock. I thought it was a um, an altar or something from a distance. Just a bit of rock jutting out and it's a shrine. I don't... No, that's way too steep. Just whatever way it looked there, it looked almost accessible. Alright. Eventually you'll get to see the other side of the Stone Town Mountains quest chains on Durkar, around through them. Um, the Horde side. I'll be showing you the Alliance side at some stage. When, I'm not sure. It'll probably be on my Night Elf. Actually, who do I have on... Oh, I'm leveling a Drain Eye, aren't I? Yes. I think I might want to move a few uh, Alliance people over to Kalimdor. No, actually, two might be enough. Two b would probably be enough to cover it. But I think I might need to move a few others over anyway, because I might have too much too much Eastern Kingdom questing. Um, I'll move the gnome over. Um, I'll I'll get her up to say. Wait, do the alliance even have more than one level ten zone here? Ratchet's a nor sorry, Northern Barrens is a horde area. Yeah, I think the Alliance only have one level 10 zone here. I think the Horde even does better than that. No, sorry, the Alliance has two, sorry. Their level 10 zone's built into Azure Mist. Sorry, Blood Mist, sorry. Okay, that, that that's different, that's different. Um, yeah, I think I'll bring the Gnome over there. My Gnome is going to be my Monk. Huh, alright. So, where were we in the regards to all these? Um, I have to bring the Curse Shard to Dalaran. Elden wants me to deal with invasion points. To deal with Karazhan. I have to go speak with Magnia again. I'm just going to say while I was there. Inches from Madness might be done depending on how long it is. 